Hello, in this video I just want to show you the final result of our side-scroller game, which we will write later. As you can see, most of the functions are implemented already, like I can jump, there is collision detection in both directions, even I can shoot, as you can see. Okay, so... I can shoot an enemy, I can go through the map, uh, it easily, it can be easily put uh, these blocks into the game. I will show you in a moment. So just enjoy the video. Okay, the images are not the better. I just did it quickly, ten seconds with GIMP. As you can see, there is uh, a lot of kind of uh, ties, something called ties in it. There are the sc scrolling background and the scrolling foreground. I just stole this item for uh, from Mario uh, thing. Okay, and this red communist flag indicates where is the end of the level. Okay, so if I reach it, it will do what? Oh, and an enemy can kill me if I not jump the head of the enemy. As you can see, I win, so it is exiting right now. Okay, there is something in here called game dot dot. This will contain the maps which will be loaded. Okay, and I w and I make a map editor for that as well as a separate program. Okay, I just started the map creator as you can see, and I can make maps with it. I have several blocks, as you can see, which I can use to make the game. Uh, everything is a 50 by 50 block, so it gives a little Minecraft feeling to that. Uh, so, I can make blocks right there. Okay, this is the zero, 00 coordinate. And if I go to here, I can scrolling as well. Alright, and I can put other kind of block here okay and I make a thing light here and the thing to it uh, I can make the uh, blocks like this this will be actually a ground and a little grass on it I can use brick like that okay I can uh, put a is kind of bridge or I don't know so I can put enemies here for example put two enemy they will not collide with each other uh, okay I can make a little bit more of this thing the enemies will change the direction when it hits something okay like there okay I can make this block which doesn't look uh, 50 height uh, 50 uh, height but it, it is just you know it has the uh, smaller uh, so it is invisible in here so that's why it seems smaller okay I can put blocks like this so obviously you can put it together and the end of the level you just put this communist flag and that will be the end of the uh, game so just press the letter S on your keyboard and it will save it it uses the file name which is the current time in seconds from 1970 uh, January 1st okay so the name of the map we just created is this dot map if you put more maps in here uh, after you finish the first map the second map will come so kind of levels I just delete the first one because I don't want it so long okay so if I start the game there is no need for recompile it is our level we just created as you can see I can go in here it is even scrolling uh, the maximum height of a jump is 2 uh, tile which is approximately uh, 100 the bounding box is not perfect but you know just rewriting two number okay here we go, we put the enemies here. Hmm, not two enemies. 
never mind. So probably they walk together. So you know uh, the two enemies in inside each other. So that was that is fa basically the final result for our game. Uh, okay, as you can see, the maps are scrolling back to. I can shoot both direction with the letter S. The the uh, bullets use collision detection, and uh, what else do I wanted to say? So pretty much that's it. It is just as simple as that. Although it will it will take a little longer to make it because yeah, it's kind of long. It takes me almost ten hour to uh, do this uh, thing. Uh, of course, with the planning and make these uh, blocks and so on. Uh, really, that's all you need to know. Actually, that's the final result. We will uh, actually, I will set phases uh, of the development, so we will not make this together. First, I just make the map and the scrolling map, and then I add things like bullets and the player obviously for the player and enemies so just uh, you know uh, I separate these two phases and pretty much that's all I need to say about this game it is pretty simple as you can see there is no reward point at or music sound effect at the moment uh, later it can be added obviously and if we just hit this uh, flag, then the game is over. So if I put another uh, map in here, I don't know, I just uh, set a base, just load the basic map. Okay. So now whenever the first uh, level is finished, the second will load. Okay, by the way, the map looks like this. First the width and the height of the map, and then numbers which correct, uh, which uh, which is um, one number is a tile. So, for example, the zero is nothing. The one is that uh, uh, you know that green thing. So, if I just open now the blocks dot bmp, it is looks like it looks like this. It is all of the blocks of the game. So the if the one is this, the second is this, the third is this, and so on. The minus one is the enemy, which is not in this drawing. It it is in this drawing, as you can see. Mm, I use just the four picture for the player, so that's a very basic animation. But you know you can do it better. The bullet is just this dot and uh, pretty much that's all okay so I just wanted to say I load the map I just quickly go through the map okay the walk walking speed is pretty low but you know you can modify it if you want I will not because maybe it screw up the collision as you can see I cannot uh, jump multiple times there is a prevent the I prevent that so if I am on the air I cannot jump okay as you can see I can shoot enemies both enemies and uh, so I just finished this map and the next map will load I don't know which map is that because I made a lot of test map uh, so I just finish as you can see loading next map okay this is just a demonstration map okay I cannot get uh, up there so I just make this to uh, test the collision detection at the upper as you can see it is works uh, usually it works so that is just a test purpose and I cannot go in any reaction right now, so I just quit. Mm. 
a few things that I, th I think the most, co most of the code is pretty straightforward. It is fun to write it, so pretty straightforward and simple. But some parts of the code is not as straightforward as and simple, like the collision detection. I don't really like the collision detection because you know it is just testing. Collision detection always seems simple at first, but it always get uh, very complex later. Mm. And probably my code needs a few rewrite because my base class, uh, actually the game class, which is put the entire program together to one program, is approximately uh, 500 lines of code. And uh, usually it's not a good thing to uh, store that amount of line uh, of code in just one file. Um, and that's all. So it's not a tutorial. I will make tutorials Monday, Tuesday, or somewhere, somewhere there. And probably I will make a cl code a little bit cleaner until that. And uh, for now, I will not upload the code. Uh, I will upload the code uh, uh, when the first tutorial comes out. Okay. Oh, by the way, it is possible to die. For example, this is the end of the level. If I jump here, I will die. Okay, and I can die if um, if my lev uh, life goes down. So, for example, I saw two enemies here, so I just quickly ask them to kill me. Sorry about the speed. I really need a higher higher walking speed okay so simple animations there are as you can see in case of the enemy and the player that's all animation I had so if the enemy just uh, hit me I will die as you can see uh, if I jump into the head of the enemy, the, then the enemy die. So it's a Mario-like game, obviously much simpler, not not as uh, uh, good. Okay, and one thing I wanted to mention, that I am not so good at side-scrolling game. I don't really play side-scrolling game, and uh, I don't really make side-scrolling game. Actually, this is just the second. The first one has no side-scrolling uh, property, which is actually not a side-scroller game. Or this, does it call platform game? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.